Hi, I'm Jessica Grace and welcome to Pulse Television. Each week we'll be sharing the people, places and culture of the Geelong region. Join us as we uncover the hidden gems in your backyard. On tonight's show, Samuel Johnson and his heartfelt quest for his sister. Alex meets a local girl making jewellery. Bethany talks to a Geelong war veteran. We visit Torquay for surf and gardens. And Ted O'Neill joins us here for some music. First up, here's Nick at GPAC with Samuel Johnson. I'm Nick Rennick for Pulse Television here at the Geelong Performing Arts Centre and I've run into Samuel Johnson who's riding around Australia on his unicycle. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh mate, it's epic. Um, it's, yeah, it's this massive year-long odyssey. I'm unicycling nearly 20,000 kilometres in a figure eight around Australia in an effort to raise uh, awareness about breast cancer. My sister's sick, so it's called the Love Your Sister Ride. Now this is uh, quite a nice thing you're doing for your sister. I don't think I'd learn to ride a bike for my sisters and you're unicycling across the country. Yeah, yeah, i got to make up for all the sins of the past, you know. Uh, I was a rotten brother when I was younger and it's time to do good. Um, no, not really. I've always been tight with my sister. We're only a year apart and I think uh, most siblings are fairly protective of each other and um, I'd do anything I'd do anything for her and, uh, she, you know, she's dying, mate, and she's saying goodbye to her kids, you know. If she wants me to help her out with some breast cancer awareness raising, then uh, who, who am I to say no, mate, you know? <laughs> exactly right. I guess you've got to pitch in and, and do what you can oh, to I've help got, her out. I've got very little to do with it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So it's also, a, you're also going for the Guinness World Record of unicycle cycling. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to smash it. Um, touch wood. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's been set by a Yank uh, called Lars who uh, who unicycled 14,640 k, and uh, I'm just over 10,000 now and uh, and approaching his record. Quick smart. We do things better in Australia, so you're going to do this for us, I'm sure. I'd like to take one record off the Yanks if I could, mate, <laughs> even if it's an obscure unis long distance unicycling record. <laughs> <laughs> so how can people follow your action and get involved? Uh, Facebook's the best way, man. Look for Love Your Sister under Facebook. Um, or alternatively, if you'd like to donate um, or visit our website, loveyoursister.org. Great, and you're also in Geelong doing a play at the moment. What's that about? Yeah, doing The Haunting of Daniel Gartrell with Max Gillies, Aussie icon, and Michaela Bannis. You know, Love her. Oh, you do, mate. Jeez, I've got a mad crush on her. She's amazing. She, um, you might remember her from um, Winners and Losers. Always greener. Always greener. McLeod's Daughters. She and, and seen at the moment on Upper Middle yeah. Bogan on the ABC, which is rating its tits off, yes. so um, so to speak. Yes. Um, so, um, yeah, Michaela Bannis, Max Gillies, and myself on stage at GP for the next couple of nights it's uh, it's a dream run mate you can't go wrong yeah yeah i mean I'm, I'm unicycling doing a bit of fundraising doing a bit of stage play at night you know life doesn't get better no it doesn't and i do love you from rush i will say i love michaela but i loved you in rush too oh uh, look i knew there was someone out there that liked that show <laughs> i'm glad i finally found him <laughs> anyway thanks for chatting to us this morning oh it's my pleasure keep up the po good work pulse that's nick Rennick for pulse television I'm here with uh, TV's Michaela Bannis from Upper Middle Bogan on at the moment. Now, Michaela, you're here to support Samuel. How did you get involved? Oh, look, Samuel will rope you into anything, pretty much. Um, <laughs> no, he's such a good guy. You can't say no to the man. So um, we're here nice and early down here in Geelong. And uh, it was an early start. We, we're doing a play at the moment together. So that's Yes, I saw that. What's it called? It's called The Haunting of Daniel Gartrell. And we're touring the country, uh, all regional areas of the country with this play with uh, myself, Max Gillies and Sam Johnson. Johnson obviously, and, and um, also getting up early and doing Love Your Sister promotions at the same time. So you've been doing, following him the whole way or just uh, for a few legs? No, just for a few legs. We've only just started the play, but he's been riding all the way with us on, on rehearsal and on the tour. He's riding his unicycle and then doing shows. I don't know how he's still standing. It's, it's a miracle. It sounds like a lot. Do you get a turn on the unicycle? I so want to have a go, but I will fall off and hurt myself because I'm not a coordinated human being. <laughs> He's amazing. I want, I'm going to have a go on the little mini one, I think, first. Oh, we might get a shot of that, I think. That would be pretty fun. But don't injure yourself because then what will we do for TV stars? <laughs> there are plenty more where I came from. <laughs> Not quite as good as you, Michaela. Thank you so much for talking to us this morning. Thank you. Everyone should have a brother like Samuel. Now Alex takes a look at a local girl creating colourful pieces of jewellery. Hi, I'm Alex from Pulse Television. Today I'm joined with Jemima Kingston, a Bellarine resident who owns her own jewellery business, Kingston Jewellery. Hi, Jemima. Hey, how are you going? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, thanks. You own your own jewellery business. How long have you had it for? Um, three years now. And how did you start it? 
Um, I started it just because I really wanted some cool jewelry and I couldn't really afford it at the time. <laughs> so yeah. And then it just grew from there. People started like buying it off me from my workplace and then I started selling at markets and then it went into a wholesale business. Wow. And, um, Do you sell a lot of your jewellery or is it more just starting out now? Um, No, it's like really grown so I can hardly keep up (laughs) at the minute. I need some help, I think. (laughs) Where do you buy the material from for your jewellery? I just buy majority of it online. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot more out there. (laughs) Whereabouts do you sell your jewellery? I sell my jewellery in stores um, all around Australia. I'm actually in Singapore now, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I sell my jewellery at markets as well. I'm full-time at the Rose Street Artist Market in Melbourne. And I also sell my jewellery online. So I sell a lot through just Facebook and through Etsy as well. That's really good. And you're actually wearing a piece of your jewellery right now, aren't you? (laughs) Yes. Um, How long do they take you to make? Um, This one takes a fair while, actually. Um, So probably around maybe an hour. It depends, like, on the mood I'm in on the day. (laughs) But, um, yeah, so this one's probably about an hour. So I make all the beads by hand and hand cut them and then have to thread them and glue them. And what's your inspiration for your jewellery? Because it's quite unique, I would say. So where do you find your inspiration? Um, Well, it probably started out, it was more organic and based on like leaves and plants and petals and stuff like that. Um, And then it grew more into being influenced by abstract art and colour, like tribal designs. I really like spears and things like that. A lot of it's really just for the sake of I like it. And if I like it, I want to make it. So, yeah. Thank you for joining us today here at Pulse Television. That was Jemima Kingston of Kingston Jewellery and I'm Alex from Pulse Television.